Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. So um, it's quite easy to do and I've just actually did a virtual machine on iPerv. So here you see that I actually have installed on iPerv a Linux Mint distribution. So this is what the iPerv is all about and you can actually use Linux right now. So it's as easy as just following the instructions. All you have to do is go into new, go into virtual machine and follow the instructions that are given there. Uh, assign an amount of RAM memory, an amount of disk space for virtualization, and just choose whatever image of Linux that you have. Uh, if some of you want me to actually go through all the steps to show you which options to use, uh, I'll be able to do so and create a new virtual machine to show you what you uh, can, can do to run a virtual machine uh, like this. And once it's done, well, here I could actually go full screen and I can check out my Linux distro that I have here and check the preferences, run all the software and so on. Uh, there are ways to do connectivity so that your Linux distro will actually have a internet connection if you desire. And so, like I said, it can run Windows, it can run uh, Linux, it can run whatever is uh, something that you want to have. Depending on the speed of the machine you have, it's more or less fast. Uh, with, a, uh, with a fast computer, a modern computer with a lot of RAM uh, and an SSD drive in general, this is as fast pretty much as any computers that you will do on your uh, own at, uh, if you want, but uh, it all depends. Here's a little sluggish. This PC is not particularly uh, good for that kind of use. It's a little slow, but you know, it works. And as you see here, I just ran Firefox and went to Google on Linux Mint. And then I can of course shut down Linux Mint as I would shut down a, uh, a standard you know computer uh, like I said, what you do in here is kept. So that means that if you are running an installed base, you can actually have all of the what you did saved on the virtual machine. And so here we go. I'm actually going to close it. And here you go. And you have a small uh, image here of that virtual machine that's running and so on and what you can do. And of course, you can uh, run connect, disconnect, do whatever you want in the virtualization of the computer. So that was a quick demonstration that I was running Linux Mint on iPerv, and which is why it's different from the Windows Sandbox. Windows Sandbox runs just Windows um, in the same copy of Windows that's in the machine. So Windows Sandbox and Windows 11 runs Windows 11. Windows Sandbox and Windows 10 will run Windows 10. And of course, in Windows 11, you also have Hyper-V capability, so you can actually run any other type of operating system. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.